Uh, I'm learning English because I it's regarding English my English. Spoken language in I need to improve my English uh, to communicate um, English. I am here to improve my English for my job. Really help me. This video demonstrates the variety of ways in which students' seats can be arranged. Your choice of arrangement will depend on the aim of the activity, the size of the group, and the size of the classroom. A semicircle, or horseshoe, is a popular arrangement in modern classrooms. It facilitates communication between students and allows them to focus on the teacher and the board. A circle is good for discussions or pair work while the teacher monitors from the back. Both in a horseshoe and in a circle, all the students feel equal and can contribute. Face-to-face -face pairs are best for communicative activities such as role plays. In a large classroom, put the pairs wider apart so they don't disturb one another. Back-to-back -back pairs are excellent for describe and draw activities and role-playing telephone conversations. The students have to focus on the spoken word here and they cannot rely on body language or facial expressions. This arrangement is rows. It is not as common in language classrooms these days as it once was, and it is usually used for lecture-style classes or exams. Remember to change the seating arrangement from time to time. Think which arrangement is the most suitable one for a particular activity. Rearranging the seats will add variety to your lessons. Don't change the seating too often, however, as students need time to get used to each new arrangement. Observe your class to determine which arrangements work the best for your group of students and adapt your seating plan accordingly. For some activities, no seating is required at all as students walk around the classroom and have conversations with various partners.